What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk about the new raid activity which is coming with the Curse of Osiris DLC on December 5th and all the details we know on it so far. But before we go any further people, if you'd like to win some epic loot, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and join my Discord server, links within the video description. Okay, so the latest Bungie stream has not long ended, which covered many new things coming with the Curse of All Souls DLC expansion, so I expect more videos to come covering every detail worth covering. But the highlight of the stream for me was details on the new raid activity, so let's start. So we're going to be getting a new raid but not as you think. Bungie are creating now what's known as Raid Layers. There are two of them in the making, both coming with the DLCs of the future. A Raid Layer is basically an expansion onto the Leviathan Raid. Now before the stream today, I wasn't optimistic about the new Raid activity they spoke about, as I actually thought it would be just like an add-on. But now that they've explained exactly what it is in a little more detail, I'm quite looking forward to seeing it in action. So basically this Leviathan Raid expansion is a new raid set with new encounters, new activities, new places to explore and new bosses. The raid is called the Eater of Worlds. It will obviously be a 6 man and the recommended light of it is standard at 300. Uh, Prestige version will be added though which they state and I quote is basically madness which I like the sound of. Now this new raid lair activity isn't going to replace the current Leviathan raid, it's like more of a side node for the Leviathan. The Leviathan will still be there for you to play, which I may state its light level has been raised to a 300 or whatever will match the current gear level when the Curse of Osiris drops, and its gear will raise with the expansion too. Loot obtainable from this new raid lair though will be an all new set of armour, weapons and cosmetics, which I cannot wait to see. This raid layer will obviously start within the same path you take into the Leviathan raid. The Leviathan is a world eater so theoretically this place is absolutely massive and we've only been to the palace on top but within this layer we will dive down into this enormous ship. So yes it will basically offer new encounters, new places to explore and new bosses. Sounds quite interesting I'm not going to lie but I do have many questions. The Curse of Osiris DLC is Vex themed, there's no doubt about it but this layer with the Leviathan this new raid activity I don't see being Vex, which is kind of a little disappointing, I think it should be. Although it isn't a major upset, I just think it should somehow at least be Vex related. Now it might be saying that, don't take what I state as factual as it hasn't been confirmed, I just don't see it happening. So within expansion 2 we will get a second raid layer, so not a completely new raid, but more of an add-on like this Eater of Worlds layer, which comes with the Curse of Osiris. I mean I ain't upset about this, but it isn't exactly what I expected. They do however try and compare it with the release of Destiny 1 and the expansions that came with that. They state the first DLC got a raid, but the second never and only got the Prison of Elders. And they are basically using this as an excuse for what we're getting with Destiny 2 being okay. They act like because the first game didn't get two raids within two DLCs, you guys better count yourselves lucky that you are getting two new raid activities within the first two expansions for Destiny 2. Now for me I ain't salty about this at all. As long as these new red activities, these new red layers offer more of an end game grind, I'm completely happy. Heck, to be honest, I'd even be happy if a raid activity wasn't added to the game with this DLC, as long as they fix the end game. That's what I think. That's what this game completely misses in my opinion. That's what Destiny 1 offered, which this does not. Longevity, reasons to play, reasons to grind. There's no reason for me now to start Destiny 2, and it's only been out two months, and I had this feeling after a month. That should not be the case. But hopefully they break two bottles with one pebble and we get both a better end game grind and great new raid activities. That's the best outcome I can see. All the info coming though is relatively new and there's so much more to be announced. There are still two more streams coming which no doubt like this stream will deliver plenty of new info on this DLC. The next stream is next Tuesday at the same time and the third stream will be the week after on the Wednesday at the same time. Now I'm going to go back over this entire stream again to see what else is worth covering so stay tuned for them videos. Thanks as always for stopping by, tell me what you think about these new raid layer activities and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.